Or at least almost everyone was. Little Roo was otherwise occupied playing with his ball. Now I was busy looking for something he had misplaced. Don't I say, where has my memory book gone off to? I wonder why I can't remember. Carrots, carrots, carrots! I must gather more carrots. And Eeyore was having a particularly gloomy day. Who, however, was happily doing what he loves most, eating an apple. <laughs> Bear certainly loves honey, but honey was not on everyone's mind, especially not tickets. Wait a second, tear little piglet. Oh, <laughs> that's just a big old pile of leaves. And they're very good for bouncing in. <laughs> a Grillosaurus, hey, and it's right behind me. <laughs> Please save me, Christopher Robin. Don't be afraid, piglet. There's nothing behind you. Sure, there's nothing there. It's just your imagination. <laughs> what a frightened little piglet you are. Quite sure. You know what, piglet? You need to face your fears. Oh my goodness, no. I couldn't do I mean, that would be face my fears, you say? That's right. To overcome a fear, you just have to stare it down. Believe in yourself, piglet. You have a hero inside. Just wait for him to come out. But I'm too afraid, Christopher Robin. And I'm so very small. The heroes must be big and brave. Oh no, I'll never be a hero. And so as Roo was falling asleep, Pooh started to drift off as well. But as everyone was so preoccupied, they hadn't noticed Piglet. Feeling that he was too small and too easily frightened to help his friends, Piglet left the Hundred Acre Wood all alone and rather sad. Mr. Light is here with a brand new Let's Play. And you might notice I've had to do the camera thing again like I did the last time when we did We the Pooh's Rumbly Tumbly Adventure. Next up, I'm also doing this one, Piglet's Big Game. So? If you would like to begin a new adventure, just stop and talk to our very industrious friend, Goofa. Very well. Let's start a new game. We're going to call ourselves By My Name, obviously. Save data. Very good. Thank you, sir. Now we're in this area. 
There are several things here which you can do, but we're going to ignore all this and go right for the main game. So if we go up here, we come across this telescope. Should you like? Ah, uh, sorry, I skipped that. That was an accident. It's just basically. As Pooh slept, Piglet became the hero of Pooh Bear's dream world. As little Roo slept, Piglet became the hero of Roo's dream world. You As might know this. Still awake, he was not dreaming. So Piglet would have to wait to become a hero in Owl's dream world. Now, as Eeyore was still awake, he was not dreaming. And Piglet could not yet become a hero in Eeyore's dream world. As Rabbit was not yet asleep, Piglet would have to wait a short while to become a hero in Rabbit's dream world. Definitely not a short time. For Piglet to become the hero of Tigger's dreams, our friend Tigger would have to fall asleep. Yep, you have to go for all this. Piglet became the hero of Pooh Bear's dream world. So first off, it's longer than the previous game. Secondly, instead of honey pots, we're getting cookies. So we're going to start, obviously, with Pooh Bear's dream. My camera opening, we can now get on with the actual game. So, we're in Winnie the Pooh's dream. I think to start out, we are going to look for some cookies. And just like in the old game I did, yeah, you gotta get a lot of them. Any over here? No, nope, that's no good. Unfortunately, Piglet was unable to go through this passage, for you see, it was blocked by a mountain of cotton candy. Oh. What could he do to remove this rather sticky mess? Right. The bottle was far too high for Piglet to use by himself. This was certainly not the moment for trying to use it. You see that balloon there? That's going to be important later. Right, hang on, that's the wrong button, that's the wrong button. I'm just trying to remember the flipping controls. I haven't played this in ages. Hang on, let's just hit that again so I can get the cookies. Okay. Now, just like the old game, it'll tell you when you've got them all. So for now, we're just going to go and hunt them all down. I do plan, hopefully, to get all the cookies. And there we go. So that's this one empty of cookies. And now we're going to go and talk to Owl, apparently. And who is this? Could it be my young friend, Piglet? Oh, hello, Owl. What a pleasure it is to see you. Now, tell me, what are you doing in Pooh's dream? Would you perhaps be looking for a treasure? Oh, no, Owl. I've come to see if Pooh might need my help. <laughs> well, that's good. Oh, Piglet, that sounds like a wonderful idea. Pooh is just on the other side of this gate. Oh, you're going to let us through. All the better for me. So, yeah, we gotta look for Pooh Bear. And what was that about looking for treasure? Uh, what's that about? I guess we'll find out s sometime. More cookies for me. Oh, 
I think I'm gonna miss this one. Yep, they in the end do go back, you gotta hit it again. No surprise there, it's just like the old game. And one more. Come here, you rascals. Okay, hang on, we're not done yet. Okay, not that. No. Okay, none of them. So, okay, we've already done that, I know that. Okay. Oh, hang on. I think we gotta push this down. Nice going, piglets. If we cross here, there's even more to this area. Now let's get more cookies. There's a lot of them in this area, isn't there? And this is only the opening area. Ah uh, yes, apparently Winnie the Pooh dreams about food. You know, that's no surprise, really. Oh, still not done yet. Oh, I on, we found him. Oh, do be careful, Piglet. This caramel is quite sticky and I I seem to have found myself um, rather a, a stuck in it. Oh. It would be so bothersome if we both got stuck, don't you think? Oh, but, but Pooh, how did you get stuck in the caramel? Well, you see, I was searching for some money and Rabbit thought this might be a good place to search. Well, at least I think that's what he told me. But now that I think about it some more, I could be mistaken. Hold on, Pooh. So, I'll get you out. So that would typical. Be very nice. Thank you, Piglet. I suppose a stick might be useful. So yeah, we need to find a stick, apparently. Which is right there, which wasn't there originally. Okay, that's something I guess. In the meantime, let me just see if I can find these. Last cookies I'm looking for. Gotta be around here somewhere. Is this it? You might notice in this one there's no glow on the objects like there was in the original game. At least I don't know. I don't know which one came first, but I just feel like this is the sequel. So, where's the other one? Okay, anything over here? Okay, seriously. Okay, not there. What? I thought I'd hit that! Apparently I'm an idiot! There we go! Now we got all the cookies in this area! Now if you'll excuse me, I've got a stick to collect! Time to get Pooh out of Piglet this- I thought the lollipop stick might be quite handy. Well, I gotta get Pooh out of this sticky situation. Yes, I did that on purpose. Hang on, Pooh. I'll do my best to unstick you. Strike! Oh, thank you, Piglet. You see, I've discovered that caramel is quite good for eating, but not so good for um, standing in. Now, let's find Rabbit. I'm sure he knows where to find some honey. Yep, we gotta go look for some honey now with Pooh. Come along now, Piglet. Follow me. He's going back that way. Alright, if you insist, I'll follow you. But why did you go way ahead of us? 
Seriously, now we gotta go and catch up to you. Oh well, whatever, it could be worse. We go this way now. Okay, loading some more. Yeah, there's again a lot of loading screens. And so it was that Piglet decided to follow his friend Winnie the Pooh in the hopes of helping him find some honey. That's the quest! Oh, mother. Piglet, there seems to be some cotton candy blocking the door. However shall we get through? Think, think. I do believe I've seen this cake before. And if this cake is here, then Rabbit must be over there. Will he be able to help us find the honey? Oh yes, Rabbit always has a smackerel or two of honey. Uh, <laughs> now, right. How shall we get through this cotton candy? Think, think, think. I suppose we could eat it. Oh no, Pooh. There's much too much to eat. Definitely. Yes, of course you're right, Piggy. But however, shall we get to the other side then? Leave that to me. I have here a water bottle. Sadly, he's not tall enough. I can solve that. Piglet, there must be a way to get through this cotton candy. Perhaps Owl will know what to do. What? We have to speak to Owl? Really? If it isn't painfully obvious what we use. Well, if it isn't my dear friend Piglet, and I do believe you're looking for a way to get rid of some cotton candy. <laughs> Let's see. The weight multiplied by the mass squared divided by the height of the cotton candy uh, minus the... Uh, <laughs> Aha! A bit of water could be the solution. And we're better to find water than in a bottle. Are you flipping joking? That was so obvious. It's the only other thing here. You do realize that, right? Pooh Bear, uh, could you help me? Of course. Piglet, could you press the handle of the bottle? I'm a bit too small to reach it, you see. Oh, a bottle with handles. I wonder why that is. Well, it's because we're going to get rid of the cotton candy with water that Owl told us how to solve, now, but... let's see. It's painfully obvious here. Wow! Oh, that did it. And now, perhaps we can find a rabbit and some honey for my tummy. Yes. Oh, thank you, Pooh. I I'll go find Rabbit and ask him if he knows where some honey is. Piglet, perhaps you should go and find Rabbit. And That's what he just said! Where I was before I was here. Oh, and also, Piglet, you know there may be half lumps in there. I suppose perhaps. You should be rather careful. Careful lumps. Uh oh, yep. It's the enemies from the old game. They're back. 